So what I like about the NovaSure technology is that uh, it's, first of all, it's uh, simple to use. It's simple for the surgeon and it's simple for the nursing personnel. Uh, very simple to use. So that's number one. Number two, it's very safe. They are safety measures, uh, which I call preventive measures, uh, such as the uh, CO2 testing before you deploy the device. And at that time, it was really a, a game changer compared to other devices which did not have safety uh, preventive measures like that. Meaning you cannot uh, proceed with the procedure before uh, passing these tests. And thirdly, it's very efficient. Patients are satisfied. And uh, of course, it has to do with the patient selection. But overall, it, it was a big game changer for the gynecologic uh, uh, world because it made uh, this opportunity a simple procedure instead of having uh, complicated surgeries and uh, hysterectomies performed uh, for a relatively normal uterus in most cases. So my overall impression of the uh, version 5 of the NovaSure uh, you know it's all in the details sometimes so any new improvement even the, the slightest improvement can make a significant change for the user so basically the, the two new improvements in this version are the markings and the cervical seal the markings will be helpful uh, to make sure that it uh, it uh, it correlates well with uh, the measurements that you have taken before like uterine sounding so in case uh, you feel it's much deeper than the uterine sounding well maybe you there's information there that you should look for in terms of uh, is there a perforation before i start deploying the device second so so it's a safety measure an additional safety measure that i think will be very useful for the new users as well uh, as those users who do not perform the procedure frequently. The cervical seal uh, in my mind is uh, truly a, a, an improvement, a significant improvement because this seal will uh, is, is a better conforms to the endocervical canal uh, and to the exocervix and therefore there's less chance of a fluid of a CO2 leak and better chance of passing the CO2 uh, perforation detection test and going on with the procedure. So it's very important for technology organizations to partner with physicians because uh, it's uh, during procedures that uh, physicians realize what needs to be improved uh, clinically in terms of safety and efficacy and therefore they have uh, suggestions to make and it's the technology organizations that can make it happen in terms of engineering and so forth.